Okay, so what we're going to be doing in this example is taking a look at Inventor 2011 making use of the frame generator for structural member design or static frame member design. Now the first thing we're going to do is make use inside of Inventor 2011 of the hundreds of thousands of different components inside our library to make use of, of all these different profiles. We don't have to manually create these different frame structures, rather we can use an existing sketch and extrude all those different profiles along all the different sketch lines instantaneously. After the different structural member components are completed, we can perfect the frame design by cutting and coping, mitering the different joints and components within the, within the interface, and truly digital prototype the components before we start cutting steel. Now, the other things that we can do is we can actually go in here and start um, you know, extending or trimming off specific componentry within the design so that we can perfect the design and also analyze the design downstream so what we have uh, digitally is what we're going to have in real life so we're going to go ahead and do this we're going to go ahead and trim off some different frame members I simply select the different frame members that I want to trim and in this case I'm going to go ahead and tell it what I want to what I want to cut off or what I want to trim to so I'm simply going to select a face I also have the capability within Autodesk Inventor 2011 to be able to cope around um, curved components or curved frame members very easily and so the interface make the, makes this a, a streamlined environment so I don't have to think about the different angles that I'm actually cutting off rather I can let the software make those calculations for me now once I'm completed trimming off my frame members and completing my design I now have the capability to actually analyze the design in an integrated format so I don't have to leave the interface I can simply stay within Inventor 2011 and do a full beam analysis on this component. So what I'm going to start off doing is creating some um, fixed components or fixed points for this frame where it's sitting on the floor. And after I'm done creating these different fixed components, I'm going to start adding force loads to this geometry. So I'm going to go ahead and inform Inventor where these fo force loads are and what the force loads um, are going to be in real life. Now after I um, define some of these different force loads, I also have capability to easily adjust force loads in complex positions. So in this example here I actually want to define um, where I want to position this central force load on this frame and I also want to be able to go in here and further define some additional direction of this load. Now I'm going to go ahead and give it a value of uh, 1250 and I also want to go in here and define a, a more complex angle. Very easily I can simply drag my arrows in any direction and apply this force load. So Inventor 2011 really makes this easy for an end user to do this and faster than anything else in industry. Once I'm completed with that, I run my results. I can animate those results and do a variety of different things including reports and different things this way. Inventor 2011 makes this easier than ever before.